And the fact is, five years from now, it will all be sorted out one way or another. I'll probably end up in jail or dead. Most likely dead. Well, it's April 28, 2020, and I now officially declare Matt Tran shot dead at war. What I'm here to say is I messed up big time. I said a lot of things that are tr are valid. You know, I said them. You know, I'm not going to lie. I threatened him, you know. Uh, freaking 30 old threatening a college kid. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? Ding dong YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Jobless Coder, and it has been a while since I made my last video, but not to worry, I'm still here. I'm just really, really busy. But today we're going to talk about what happened here on YouTube because Trend Black was blackmailed and Matt Tren is cancelled. But before I get started, make sure to click the subscribe icon if you're new to the channel for any future updates. And without further ado, let's get started. So if you don't know the situation, I'm going to give a brief overview of it here. A couple months ago, Tren Black made a video where he accused Engineered Truth, i.e. Matt Tren, as being the worst of the tech industry. And Matt Tren didn't take too kindly to the criticism because he's essentially gone and doxed uh, uh, Tren Black now. Now, when it comes to doxing, I have my own personal views and opinions on, on doxing itself, and I'm going to get to that a little bit later in the video. Um, I have accidentally doxed a friend before, and I have pl uh, uh, planned to make a video at some point kind of explaining the situation, obviously without going into any personal details to, you know, make the situation worse, but I do want to explain how it kind of happened that I accidentally doxed a friend. But I do understand the seriousness of it. I think one of the first things that took me by surprise with my own situation was how severe it was. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a deal at the time. I didn't really understand why there was such ramifications behind doxing. Um, but I've, I've learned my lesson. I, I know now why it's so frowned upon why in some cases it's even illegal in certain uh, states or depending on where you live. I, I don't know about here in Canada. I don't think it's illegal in Canada, but it is definitely taken seriously in the tech, especially in the tech industry. Now, in this situation, it was definitely not done accidentally. It was definitely done on purpose with the intention of essentially destroying Tren Black's career or his potential future career in the tech industry. And that is something that's obviously very wrong that, uh, that Matt Tren, uh, the engineered truth did. His essential motivation was basically to destroy a man's career. And uh, CoffeeZilla actually did an interview with him a couple days ago to try and get his side of the story. I'm being respectful to you um, because I think it's important to get your side of the story. But at the same time, I do feel this was a pretty messed up uh, thing. And that's my perspective. And I understand you feel differently. But but I don't know, man. And I watched the full interview. I don't honestly think that he tried to. Pref pre I don't think he tried to present any defense for himself. I think he realized that he screwed up. Um, he basically just says, "Yeah, I I doxed him," and he doesn't actually provide any substantial reason as or justification as to why, other than the justification that was already given, which is that he felt personally attacked by Tren. And of course, Tech Lead's name got dragged into this because he gave Matt Tren the personal details, address, all that information. He gave that information away, which he should have kept confidential. Now, he also made a response video that I think was weak. It was kind of all over the place. He made some arguments that were like, okay, that, that makes sense. And then he just went off on a weird tangent that it was it was weird. Um, one of the things he argues is that, oh, well, laws are constantly changing and you have no idea what's okay today and it may be bad today. It may be okay in the future. Okay. We're not talking about future laws. We're talking about what is the law today. And today, Matt Tren broke the law by revealing that personal information. Now, Tech Lead, being his weird usual self, went on a huge self ingrandizing rant about how he's not perfect but he could make a video talking about how perfect he was but he's not going to do that. He also basically says that anybody that makes a video where his name is brought into the video is a hater. I don't think that's personally true. I've mentioned it before on this channel. I don't hate his channel. I don't think that anybody who 
criticizes him definitely hates him but he just seems to be a little too self-aggrandizing especially flaunting about how he's a millionaire all the time like we don't care nobody cares just shut up and, and talk about tech or something cool I can come up here and give this amazing speech that would totally justify my existence and make me look like this pure innocent angel the video that Tech Lead made kind of reminded me like of a magician's trick where they're like, ooh, look over here and see what's going on over here. So you're not paying attention to go what's going on over there. And it's almost as if he's trying to completely subvert the fact that he revealed personal details. I mean, he didn't even talk about that at, one, at all during the video. He didn't try to defend it or anything. The video isn't even really about the whole doxing situation. It's just about him and how people hate him. It has nothing to do with the situation that you gave away somebody's personal details when you shouldn't have and you should man up and apologize. Now Matt Trent on the other hand actually did come out with a video today apologizing for what he did. He recognizes that he made a mistake and he talks about his uh, association with, with Dan Locke as well for a bit um, and he, he apologized. What I'm here to say is I messed up big time. I said a lot of things that are are valid you know i said him you know i'm not gonna lie i threatened him instead of what most other youtubers would typically do which is to buckle down and pl uh, plow full steam ahead no i'm right you're wrong so i'm gonna leave it at that for the specific details of the doxing situation between engineered truth and trend black because what i really want to focus on more in this video is the tech industry as a whole and and how doxing relates to it and how i think there's something seriously wrong and broken with the system so for example, the point I'm trying to make is that nobody thinks for themselves anymore. At least they don't do any deep down and critical research. So a potential employer can go on Matt Trend's website and see this blog post totally dissing Trend Black and everything with his legal name and everything on that. And that employer is just going to shred his resume. Now that is the true problem at hand. That is where I take most of the issue even if it's an ai bot that's doing this automatically you got some ai bot that's going to browse your facebook browse your twitter it's going to find something controversial you said and it's going to find something controversial you said because there isn't any human being on this freaking planet who has ever posted a single thing that hasn't been once controversial depending on whose perspective you're looking at. But that AI bot, that recruiter, that HR manager is just going to shred your resume because they think that you're a terrible human being. And that is the true problem. Now, I mean, there are some jobs that make sense where they may want to vet what it is that you say on social media. If you're applying for a job as the marketing specialist, they're not going to hire somebody that uses a whole ton of vulgarity or whatever on their social media platforms because that's not what the brand is trying to produce. But if you're hiring me for a coding job, you're going to stick me in some backroom closet. Nobody's ever going to see me. I could be naked in there for all you know. And... Why do I, what does it matter what I say on social media? Nobody knows who I am. My name appears maybe in the credits somewhere and that's about it. Say, for example, I work for some big game studio, whatever, EA Games. You think that somebody's going to find my Facebook profile and think that everything that I say in my personal profile is endorsed by EA Games? That's bullshit. And yet the stuff you, you post on Twitter, the stuff you say on Facebook, it's you fired if you already have a job or just not hired in the first place, which I don't agree with. Nobody cares what you say on your personal social media. That's your, that's, you do you, man. That's why I make an explicit point on this channel to be as open and honest as I possibly can. I wear a freaking button that says happily unemployed. It's not because I'm happy. It's supposed to be a joke because most of the time I'm actually not. I'm actually pretty depressed all the time because I don't have a job. But that's the whole irony of the situation is it doesn't matter whether I try or whether I don't try, life just sucks and, and it doesn't go anywhere. So I just give up trying at some point. Now, I mean, this video isn't about me, so I'm not going to go off on that kind of tangent, but I will show you. I'll show you right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at my LinkedIn profile right now. It's got my name right there, and I use my real name in my videos and on the internet. And look, it says, I burn bridges and light dumpster fires for a living. I'm not 
stupid. You think I don't know that's not going to get me a job? Nobody's going to hire me when they see that. But that's the whole freaking point. I don't want to work for some jackass employer who's going to fire me based on what I post online. I don't want to uh, live life with this perpetual worry that somebody's gonna find my YouTube channel and dox me to an employer and get me fired. That's why I've made my uh, my social media presence virtually dox bulletproof. There is nothing that you can say or do against me that I haven't already made explicitly clear because I'm so honest. Like, you want to get me fired from my job? Whatever. I'm already fired because I post it myself. I'll, I'll post it myself. I don't care what I say online. I don't care if some employer finds it. That's the thing. I believe that if I find a job that is suitable for me, then they'll keep me around based on my skills alone. I'm not going to worry about somebody firing me because I said something controversial online. And this is the problem I have with doxing as a whole. A lot of people take it very seriously because people's lives actually get destroyed by this stuff, but I don't agree with it. That's the whole point. I understand, but I don't agree with it because I don't think that what you say on your personal social media account should have anything to do with your business life. And I don't think you should be forced to live two separate lives. We're all, this is the business version of you, all professional and a student and tie, whatever. And then you go home and you, you sit on the computer and watch kinky porn or whatever. Who freaking cares, you human? Get over it. Everyone does this crap. But I don't know, that's, that's just me and the way that I live my life. And like I said, there's nothing that you could ever say or do that would dox me because I've already gone and doxed myself a thousand times over, made it, it, it virtually impossible to get a job at this point. So whatever, I'll just live my life, do my own thing. If somebody comes along and wants to hire me, given the circumstances that I, all the controversial things I say on social media, all right, I'll work for you until I die because you're a decent employer. But otherwise, if you're going to fire me or shred my resume because you found some controversial thing or somebody posted some controversial thing about my controversial thing on their controversial website, I don't give a shit. And this is what I'm trying to prove as a point is that, like I said, I understand the seriousness of this. I just wish that there would, the industry would change. The industry really needs to change. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.